Hey guys, it's Julius. Um, so before I begin this video, I want to make a, a disclaimer because I feel like I have to say it in all my videos because sometimes people may think what I do with my money works for them as well. Now, what I do with my investments works for me and uh, may not work for you. So I just want to make it clear that I'm not a financial advisor. So please don't go investing your money without consulting professional help. Now that we are done with that, let's get into the video. So today's video is about dollar cost averaging. Now you see investing is never easy, especially during one of the most volatile years in the stock market history, especially when investing during a recession or economic crisis. Dollar cost averaging can be an effective way to reduce um, the risk and fear of investing at the wrong time. Now, unlike trying to time the market where you uh, speculate the most opportune time to buy or sell, when you dollar cost average money into the market, you are buying at the predetermined interval without regard to what the market is uh, doing on that particular day. Now, dollar cost averaging helps minimize the impact of uh, volatility when investing as contributions are spread over time instead of uh, investing uh, as a lump sum, which sometimes you don't have anyway. Now, this strategy makes it easier to stick to the plan. The reality is that many investors don't like to invest more when the market is down, uh, when everyone is selling and there is a tremendous amount of uh, uncertainty. It is difficult to go against the trend and after the market has recovered, investors often regret not taking advantage of what they know now to be a great buying opportunity. So dollar cost averaging uh, by investing a fixed amount at a predetermined interval can help investors stick to the plan without uh, second guessing their decision or getting too emotional as market conditions change. Now this strategy can help ensure investors are not uh, holding cash instead of uh, investing and missing the market recovery. Uh, I've always said that timing the market is better than timing the market. Uh, the stock market is no place to, um, to invest for quick returns. Now, while dollar cost averaging can help reduce the short term um, impact of uh, price swings on your performance, consider focusing on the long term. And uh, history shows that the longer you, st uh, you stay invested in the stock market, the better your chances of um, making better returns. Now, make no mistake, dollar cost averaging is a strategy and uh, it's one that almost certainly will get results that are as good or better than uh, aiming to buy low and sell high. Now, as many experts will tell you, nobody can time the market. So when it comes to how to use uh, this strategy when investing, it's simple. Invest the same amount of money in the same, uh, in the same stock or mutual fund at regular interval, say monthly. Now, you have to ignore the fluctuations in the price of your investment. Now, whether it's up or down, you are putting the same amount of money into it. And uh, this can even be done automatically by reinvesting a stock dividend payment uh, back into the stock itself in what we call a drip. Uh, I will explain more about the drip or this strategy in my next video. Now, the number of shares purchased each month will vary depending on the same price of the investment at the time of the purchase. And uh, when the share value rises, your money will buy fewer shares per dollar invested. And uh, when the uh, share price is down, your money will get you uh, more shares. Now, and over time, the average cost per share you spend will probably compare quite well with the price you would have paid if you had timed the market. Now, dollar cost averaging is a safer strategy to obtain an average price per share that is favorable overall. It's even better if you invested for long term and this is because um, regardless of the sum you have to invest, dollar cost averaging is a long-term strategy. And uh, also mutual funds and even uh, indiv individual stocks don't, as a general rule, change in value drastically from month to month. You have to keep your investment going through bad and good times to see the real value of dollar cost averaging. Over time, well, your assets will uh, reflect uh, both the premium prices of a bull market and the discounts of a bear market. Hopefully this information is helpful uh, during your journey of investment. Don't wait until you are in retirement to think about retirement because that will be too late. You have to think about uh, retirement uh, when you are still young, which is now, uh, so that you can give your money time to grow. Thanks again for watching another video of investment. Don't forget to hit the like button, consider subscribing to join the journey. See you in my next video.